So with our children then, we really want to be avoiding getting them, allowing them to get over fat. Oh yeah, you're really just kind of screwing them over for life if they get extremely over fat in adolescence. It's really an uphill battle long term. Um, I mean, eventually, eventually, if the amount of available energy is really low, some of these fat cells do go away, but it, it takes about a decade for that to happen. So it's a real struggle for at least a decade, if not lifelong for some of these kids. So yeah, it's, it's definitely something to avoid if at all possible. So what advice would you give to parents about feeding their children? Um, do you have sort of, I mean, I guess they need more energy than adults do, but you would still work on a protein energy ratio for them? Correct. Right, right. So the kids have a much higher carbohydrate tolerance than adults, and they also are growing, so they need more energy. But I would actually do the same thing with kids that I would recommend for adults, and that's protein prioritization to make sure you're hitting your protein and mineral satiety at the lowest energy intake you can get away with. So basically, the way that looks in the real world is every meal is centered around protein and every snack is centered around protein. It's all about the protein. Where's the protein? Breakfast should be, you know, eggs and turkey bacon or lean meat of some kind. Uh, lunch should be, you know, something with uh, lean meat, green vegetables, uh, uh, low, uh, cheese, uh, cottage cheese, uh, unsweetened yogurt, something that has protein as a primary macronutrient. So every time you eat, you're focusing on protein. Now, if kids are at an ideal um, body weight and they've eaten this protein and they're still starving, oh yeah, they can get away with a lot more carbs and even fats than uh, adults can. But you're trying to uh, prioritize the protein first and foremost so these kids are, can hit nutrient satiety at a lower energy intake. You know, it's, it's like if, you, if all you feed them is goldfish crackers or some abomination, I don't know if you guys have those there, but if you just feed kids something like this, that's a refined carbon, a refined fat, some sort of sugar, flour, oil concoction, they are going to eat a billion calories and they're still going to be hungry for protein and minerals. So they'll just eat and eat and eat and eat until they get what they need. And in the process, they're going to massively overeat non-protein energy. So the question is, how much energy did they have to eat through to get the protein and minerals they needed for satiety in the first place? And you just prioritize that on the front end, and then they end up eating less energy on the back end. 